Ron, you talk about Joe Biden a lot. I understand. You think you're going to be running against him. I can see how you might get confused. But you're running for governor. You're running for governor. And I have a question for you. You're running for governor. Why don't you look in the eyes of the people of the state of Florida and say to them, if you're reelected, you will serve a full four-year term as governor. Yes or no? Yes or no, Ron? Will you serve a full four-year term if you're reelected governor of Florida? It's, it's not a tough time. question. It's a fair question. He won't tell you. Ron DeSantis <laughs> not answering the question last night. He faced off uh, with Charlie Crist in their gubernatorial debate in Florida. And he was asked a pretty straightforward, simple question. Hey, hey, Ron, uh, if you get reelected governor, aren't you going to serve your entire term? Or are you going to run off and run for president? Because we know that's what your political aspirations are. It's a question that gets asked every time anyone has presidential aspirations. And they're running for another Senate seat, uh, running for another gubernatorial seat. They get asked this all the time. But Ron DeSantis, apparently a political rookie, had no idea what to say. Instead, he said this. Well, listen, I know that Charlie's interested in talking about 2024 and Joe Biden, but I just want to make things very, very clear. The only worn out old donkey I'm looking to put out to pasture is Charlie Chris. Yeah, well, Ron, we know you love to bully people, and the little name calling you just exchanged, I can take it. But you shouldn't do it when children are standing behind you at a press conference and they're wearing a mask and giving hell. But apparently that's your nature, and that's too bad. Yo, listen, let's play Ron his face again as he hit him with that line as I talk over it. Jesus. But it's, 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 the look on Ron DeSantis' face was literally, did he really? If I was in the audience, I would think that I'm a loser. Um, but even before that, let's, I want to reference, I want to show what Charlie Chris was referencing. All right, so first, let's see his face. He goes to the whole thing, he's going to land this punch. Just, oof. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why did he say that about me? I don't know what to say in response. Mary, can you help me? <laughs> let's see what Charlie Chris was talking about when he said he's being a bully, talking to kids since he's calling names. Let's watch this. You do not have to wear those masks. I mean, please take them off. <laughs> Honestly, it's not doing anything, and we got to stop with this COVID theater. So if you want to wear it, fine, but this is a, this is ridiculous. All right. Well, it's good to be at USF. Uh, we've been able to. Uh, uh, maybe you saw more of this, uh, David. But does this go as badly for him as I think? I thought it was bad because look, Ron DeSantis, the biggest vulnerability I think he has is that he is exceedingly prickly. He is not a warm guy, he is wound really tight. And this came through <laughs> in spades of the debate. For somebody, first of all, you pointed out not to have a funny answer about, oh, I, you know, I don't know what I'm doing next week. How am I gonna be able to make a promise about four years? There's all sorts of ways he could have laughed that off like most solid politicians would oh. knowing that this question was coming. But instead, Ron DeSantis is just, he's wound so tight and he's so prickly and he's so just like kind of, he's just gonna explode. And I don't think, I think that unsettles a lot of people. I think there are a lot of people in the middle are like, what is wrong with this guy? Does he not have any sense of humor? Can he not just sort of lighten up even for five seconds? He hasn't had a chance. I mean, not, not a chance, but at least enough to really just be himself. And who is himself? You know, he does a lot of these appearances and he does all these ads and he does things where he, where he characterizes himself a certain way, this fighter and they're gonna push back against the media. So he has those press conferences and the point is to fight with the media so he can look like a badass. That's part of his whole persona. But when he actually has to answer for something and someone's asking him direct questions like that, it's freeze and oh my God. Look on his face. By the way, I'm no politician, but I do know that they ask it every time. You could even say like, you know what? I'm completely gonna commit to being governor of the next four years of this state because I love the state of Florida. Then after a couple years go and you actually run for president anyway, you say, you know what I didn't realize was that the degree to which our country's in peril and they need someone like me to be at the front of the helm, just it's who cares, it's two years later, lie. All of them lie, you're a liar already. You've been lying your entire career. Why would you stop right now in that one moment is the one question. I do have. There was other questions that there was asked those well that Ron DeSantis wasn't too comfortable with. Um, let's watch more. 
That's wrong. You're seeing that. You have people that are teaching, uh, and actually his running mate has said this in the past, that teaching the United States was built on stolen land. That is inappropriate for our schools. It's not true. Uh, and I'm happy that we're going to be able to have accurate history, and we're going to make sure that we honor those who have sacrificed so that we can be free. Congressman, you have 30 seconds. I'm sorry. 30, 30 seconds, Thank you. It, well, listen, here he goes again. I mean, he keeps going back to this stuff. These outrageous, radical kind of comments that have nothing to do with reality. He says they're teaching this in other schools in other states. This is Florida. You're the governor of Florida right now. You won't even say if you want to be the governor of Florida after this election. But you are right now. And you need to be focused on what's happening in our schools. Our schools are doing a decent job, and they're not teaching hate. They're teaching reading, writing, and arithmetic. They're doing it with good teachers. But you don't respect them, and that's why they're fleeing our schools. We need a governor who cares about education. We're going to move on real to our education. next question. The discomfort is real, and it's a straightforward line. It's all it is. It's not like he pulled something out of his hat that nobody could see coming. Hey, do you care about the fact we're losing teachers? Because as you have all of your henchmen run up on these school board meetings saying, get out of here. Those same folks are complaining right now that there's this shortage of teachers or shortage of good teachers. And like, my kid isn't getting the right education. Well, you ran everybody out and you're threatening them. Let's keep it real at the behest of that guy. Any last thoughts on this, David? Well, well, we mentioned this before, and that is especially in debates and speeches and even commercials, it's important for a politician who's gonna be really successful to be the happy warrior, right? Somebody who can sort of laugh. And you saw that with Charlie Crist, even as he's cutting down DeSantis, he doesn't even know if he's gonna be governor. And he's laughing as he's saying it, that is a happy warrior. That is somebody who is sticking the shiv in, but is having a good time with that. People resonate to that kind of sort of messaging. I don't think that you know until until Ron DeSantis can sort of learn to sort of smile as he's sort of making his remarks and to sort of have a good time. Again, he is so uptight and he comes across as something of a D bag as a result. And and there's just I feel like there's a ceiling with Ron DeSantis, especially if you imagine him against Donald Trump, who is the ultimate, regardless of whether Donald Trump is a psychopath or not, and I think he is. Donald Trump is the ultimate happy war. He laughs all the time as he's giving insults. And there you have Ron DeSantis, who's gonna be so tight and mad against Donald Trump. I, I think it's not even gonna be a contest. I don't think he really knows which way to go yet. And maybe the one person that's that's waiting for on, with bated breath for whether or not Donald Trump's gonna decide to run, he's not, uh, is Ron DeSantis, he doesn't know what to do. It's also why it was probably flowing through his mind as he was asked, are you gonna be governor? Well, if uh, Donald Trump runs, then yes. <laughs>